So how exactly will this work if Google is successful? Well, I mean, as you know, one of the big problems in Africa is that is a lack of connectivity, especially in the more remote areas. As you mentioned, companies like SAP and IBM are investing a lot of money, but those tend to go to more populated areas, South Africa and Egypt and places like that. What Google's trying to do, allegedly, and the speculation is, float air balloons that are remote controlled, solar powered, with wireless transmitters on top of them. And a lot of this is rumor, uh, mm -hmm. but if they did that, that actually holds a lot of promise to deliver connectivity to the most remote parts of, of the continent. Right, because I've been to Africa, and I've actually always been surprised at how connected it is. But, you know, I'm sure I'm visiting some of the more populous places. How hard is what they're trying to do in some of these more remote areas? It's... You can imagine a lot of uses even here as well. In the States, we've been pretty good about wiring up rural communities, but that tends to involve actually laying fiber optic cable, literally digging up the streets. And uh, what Google's trying to do is saying, we don't need any of that. We're going to float a balloon, allegedly, and uh, transmit wireless uh, signals from in the sky. That would eliminate all the labor of actually installing a, a wireless network that exists today. So it sounds very benevolent, but, but Google's actually going to get something out of this, right? Of course. Africa is one of those countries where a lot of people uh, have wireless connectivity. It might be 2G. Maybe if they're lucky, it might be 3G. But there's a lot of e-commerce happening, but they're on feature phones, essentially, in a lot of places. Google wants to be on your phone and wants to be in the middle of your transactions, regardless of the medium, so regardless of whether it's a feature phone or a smartphone. So certainly there's some self-interest here. And are these countries just going to be like, OK, Google, come in and, and help us? Or are there companies within these countries that are going to say, hey, we want to do this? It's a great question. I, I have to imagine that there are going to be a lot of local startups saying, we can do wireless too. Google bears, brings a lot of money to the table, though, and the capability to do some really serious uh, uh, efforts here.